All right. Uh, first of all, um, you know, credit to Louisiana. Uh, we knew all week they'd be a big, good physical football team, and they, they ran the ball really well. They've got a big old line. They've got good backs. Um, and, you know, they took advantage of our mistakes. So, again, we had a, a couple of coverage busts, again, that cost us probably two touchdowns. You know, we had a chance to take the lead, and we threw a pick in the fourth quarter. Um, and we just didn't play well enough across the board. You know, we got off to a slow start on offense. And defensively, they just had us on our heels the whole game. Um, so we're, uh, you know, again, proud of the effort, but we're just, you know, we're, uh, we're struggling right now. And, uh, you know, like I told the team, when you're in this position, all, all you can do is go back to work. So with that, any questions? I mean, you you can only be so simple, Cam. I mean, when you're simple, you know, then they've got all your cover three beaters and the guy's wide open. And, you know, like we were simple and they were just, you know, throwing all the cover three beaters. And then we played man. And, and then any time we tried to call something to stop them, we bust. And, uh, you know, it just – it's. It's it's really challenging. We're 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 breaking in a whole new secondary, and most of those guys just got here in the summer. And there's no easy answer. You know, we've always been a team that thrives when we're experienced, and we have guys that have played together for a lot of years. And uh, you know, it just it's it's you know they're giving effort, they're trying, they just they're playing this level of football for the first time ever. And, and sometimes the game goes too fast for him, and there's nobody else to put in. So we just got to get him better. That's that's where we are personnel-wise back there right now. In real time, how did you process the card having to come out with the bond and running out before halftime, and then spreading 60 yards to the end zone for a ten Well, I mean, it's, you know, his kneecap kind of got tweaked, and we were really worried, and then they were able to adjust it. And then at halftime, he felt good, and then um, you know, Demond's Demond. He's fast and he makes plays. Uh, then in the third quarter, fourth quarter, uh, it just it got sore and painful, and he couldn't go anymore. And then obviously, uh, you know, it'd been great to have Donnie. So Donnie uh, didn't feel he played a little bit and didn't feel well. So he he didn't play the rest of the game either. And then Capone was out. Um, you know, he he was out then and. Uh, we're just, we're really, you know, we're, we're, we're challenging the secondary to begin with. And then when we get thin back there, it becomes even more challenging. Kenny, in terms of the secondary, you've probably known for a few months that you're going to be challenged back there when you lost someone to the portal, you know, uh, in the summer. But you probably expected maybe a little bit more production from your defensive line. It didn't feel, they didn't get any sacks. It didn't feel like they really hurried the quarterback. What was going on there? No, I mean, it's, I mean, I, I, it's hard to say, you know, it's, it's one position, you know, I mean, we, we didn't get a lot of pressure. Uh, there's times that when we did get pressure, we didn't keep a cage on the quarterback. I mean, how many times did he scramble, you know, third and nine or third and 11 for a first down? And, you know, our guys are, are trying to get off and then you don't have your, your pass rush lanes and that becomes a real problem there. So, um, Again, it's, you know, the, the secondary is always going to be the one that it's most noticeable because when they screw up, it's, it's touchdowns. Um, but we didn't play well at linebacker in the first half. We misfit some runs. We missed tackles. Um, we were in man coverage, and they ran the bootleg, and we didn't see the tight end come back across the formation. I mean, we really, you know, they just had us on our heels the whole game, and you know, I have a hard time saying right now that anybody on defense played well. So, but when you don't, you know, when you don't get a good pass rush, then routes can develop, and and they have good receivers and they have a good quarterback. Well, I mean, he's frustrated, but. It just, it's so limited what we can do because of where we are back there. 
I mean, it's, it was my biggest concern in the spring. It was my biggest concern in camp. And um, it's just a, a little bit of the reality of where we are last, you know, like I said, we were hoping we could keep one of Malik or, or Kalen and then losing, you know, Deshaun was a, a huge blow. And it's really, that's an expensive problem to fix. And when you don't have much money, it's hard to fix it. It's really hard. So, I mean, there's some players in the portal that we really wanted and we really went after. And um, we just, you know, we didn't have enough money in the collective to, to be competitive for them. No, Jamari's becoming, I mean, he's, he's becoming a solid ACC corner. And, um, you know, Capone just has to trust himself more. I mean, there was no reason to grab that guy in that one pass interference. He was in great shape, you know. But, and again, I think eventually C.D. Kelly will help us. I think Zamari eventually will help us. But right now the game moves really fast for those guys. You know, and C.D.'s played a lot of football, just not at this level. And Zamari's playing for the first time. And, um, you know, again, I'm not, I don't want to pile on. When those guys make mistakes, the results are, are fatal. You know, we had D linemen make mistakes. We had linebackers make mistakes. That's just the nature of football. When those guys make mistakes, it's 5 and 10 and 15-yard plays. When the secondary makes mistakes, it's 20, you know, and 80-yard touchdowns. Yeah, that's one of the, in recent memory, that's one of the few two-minute drills we've had that I thought was successful. And, you know, we got ourselves to where we wanted to, and we had a chance to get in field goal range. And, you know, Matt just, you know, if it's an inch to the right, you know, we're going to overtime. So, you know, I'm not going to say that that, you never, it's never one play that costs you the game, and all that would do is get you to overtime. No guarantee you're going to win it. No, I mean, Caleb Carlson had a really good spring and, and competed for the job. Those two were, you know, Caleb kicked the ball really well. So, no, and, and Matthew Dennis, I think that's the first kick he's missed all year. So, you know, it's, you know, he had a really good spring. He had a really good camp. And so far, he's had a really good season. I'm not going to let one kick uh, change how we feel about him. And again, this this game... You know, to say it came down to that one player, that one kick would be that that wouldn't be accurate. That's not fair to him. Yeah, and and Again, all those guys are playing for the first time. This is the first time Horatio's playing. Devon Patterson redshirted last year. These guys are playing for the first time, and that's uh, it's it's just our challenge, right, in this new era. That this is, is you know, we we were an old football team for seven years, and there's a lot of guys we would love to still have on our football team right now that aren't there. Um, and so we're bringing in guys in the summer to play for us, and we've got freshmen out there playing, and that's never been how we've built the program at Wake Forest. Um, and, you know, I have no problem using the portal. I have no problem getting guys from the portal. I mean, Hank Bachmeyer and Jacob Roberts, you know, just to fix problems, you need a lot of money. And, you know, we – we recruited what we could afford. And, um, and again, I think those guys will get better um, and, and they'll continue to grow. And again, I think they have ability, um, but it's, it's a little bit of baptism by fire right now. Yeah, um, well, well, he, uh, you know, he has some stitches that um, hopefully they'll heal up and he'll be available next week. I 
I mean, Josh, right now I'm concerned about everything. I mean, we're we're one and three. I think this is the worst start we've been off to here in my 11 years. We're just we're a struggling football team right now. We're just we're clearly not where we've been um, two years ago or three years ago or four years ago, and we just have to keep these guys together and make sure they keep improving and keep working and stick together. And that's always the challenge when you get off to a, a bad start, right? The, the only way to make it better is to go back to work and fix the mistakes and have guys buy in. And there's no magic formula to do that. So, oh, uh, you know, Josh, like, you, you know, again, I appreciate your, your big picture questions. I mean, I hope you can understand right now that I'm up here and I'm in pain and that locker room's in pain and NC State is the furthest thing from my mind right now. It's getting our guys together Monday and trying to lift their spirits and get them looking forward. You know, that's, that's my job. And, you know, for me to do that for them, I've got to do it for myself. But, you know, these losses, they got you. They absolutely got you. And, uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, it, it, it's, they're hard. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm disappointed that our, our program right now isn't in a better spot. And I don't think it's a, a lack of work or a lack of work ethic by our coaches or our players. We're just, you know, we're, we're not where we've been just a couple of years ago. And, you know, it's, it's a very, um, it's, it's, it's certainly challenging. But we're going to keep working, and that's all we can do. Two more days. Dave, in light of your last answer, I'm not quite sure how to ask this, but I have to ask it. You've been very open about how hard you work to keep your roster together, keep the players here four games in. Based on the, all the news of the last week, are you worried about losing anybody? Are you having to work right now to keep your roster together? I'm not going to work at that, Tony. I mean, if a guy after four games wants to quit, he's going to quit. Right, I mean, those guys have to make individual decisions, and um, you, you know, like you, you start going through the roster and you say, okay, who are the guys that could potentially do that? Now, I mean, one thing here is, I mean, we don't, oh, we've never overpromised and underdelivered. So I don't think there's one player on our roster that would ever say, I was told I was going to get A, B, and C, that we didn't deliver A, B, and C. Um, you know, we've been cautious and we don't make commitments we know we can't honor. Um, and I would hope our players would honor their commitment. But if somebody decides to do that, that is their choice. And, um, you know, if they, they, the point they come to you with it, it's the decision's already done. So um, I would hope nobody does it, but who knows? All right, thanks.